friends this is miss varsha and today i'm going to teach you standard 7th science lesson number 3 natural resources first of all we will understand the meaning of the term natural resources it is made up of two terms natural and resources children do you know what is uh, resources resources are all the sources which satisfy the needs of not only human beings but also other living things for example a need for food is satisfied by plant so plants is a resource we need oxygen for respiration and from what is the source of oxy oxygen but obviously air so air is also a resource not only that but our body is made up of proteins carbohydrates and that is in turn made up of carbon oxygen nitrogen and what is source of this oxygen nitrogen carbon of course air so that's why air is also a resource then soil is also very important resource because it helps plants to grow not only that but it also helps in water conservation then water water is very important that life on this earth cannot exist without water life exist on this water only because of water so water is also called as life so water is a source of life so we can say that water is also a very important resource not only that but humans are also resource for example let's take an example here of a company in which product is manufactured not only by the machines but it requires uh, human beings that is human beings play a key role in manufacturing of products products cannot be manufactured if in the absence of humans so human beings are also a resource so whatever contributes to, uh, whatever contributes as a source to satisfy the need of human beings and other living things are all called as resources but in this lesson we are going to study natural resources resources are basically divided into two types that is man made resources and natural resources resources made by man are called as man made resources and natural resources are available free in nature <clears throat> we can we can get it anywhere any time we want that is called as natural resources so in this lesson we are going to study basically three types of natural resources air water and soil and in this video we are going to focus on one of the property of air that is air is having mass and which is which we are going to prove it experiments for this we require two balloons of same size then a thick thread then a thin thread to tie the balloons pencil preferably uh, non sharpened and one wooden scale so all these things we require to prove the experiment that air has so children now the balance is ready for making this balance we have used a pencil and exactly at the center of the pencil we have tied a thick thread okay and at the two ends of the pencil you have to tie two balloons with the help of thin thread make sure that balloons are of the same size and this thread at this which is tied to the pencil is further we have to tie it to the scale and this scale we have to keep it on the table any table can do and to support this scale keep one or two books which are thick children now you can see that the pencil is straight that means the balance is in equilibrium that is it is neither bending towards right nor to the left that means the balloon at both the ends of the pencil are having same masses now i will remove one of the balloon and i will feel air in it that is i will inflate the balloon now let's remove it so the balloon which was just removed is now filled with air that is i have inflated the balloon and tied back the balloon to the same end of the pencil and now you can 
Now you can see the inclination of pencil is towards pink colored balloon. It means that the mass of pink colored balloon is more than the orange colored balloon. Why has this happened? Yes, just because pink colored balloon is now filled with air. Thus, thus we conclude that air has mass. Isn't it very interesting children? I hope you will also try it at home. Thank you. Children, this video is not only helpful to learn the concept but also to retain the concept for longer time in your mind. So if you like my teaching, do hit the like button. And if you feel that your relatives and other friends should also be beneficial through my video, please share with them also so that they are also learning through my videos. If you are waiting for the next video, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you dear students and my friends. Mm -hmm.